Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nazareth Studios, a Christian game development company currently being brought to life here in the beautiful state of California. Now, I'm here to tell you that we're going to be creating weekly devlog videos here on the channel for you just in case you don't make the live streams. And if you didn't know about the live streams, well, we live stream every day on this channel, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. PST to about 2 p.m. PST. So if you haven't made it, please make sure to make it. If not, you can watch this video and kind of get an update of what we've done for the week here on the channel. Now, with that being said, please make sure to click the like, sub, and notification bell because it makes me feel well. And uh, who doesn't like people make who doesn't like making people feel well? Okay. Regardless, let's talk about what we've done here at the channel this week. For this week at the channel, I had one goal in mind, and if you can't tell, that was to get the health system working both internally and externally. And as you could tell by this video here, we have obviously achieved this, but since you weren't here for the week, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the step-by-step -step play on how we reached this goal. Obviously, this all started out in code. We created a health pickup class that inherits from a pickup class. We then went into Blender and modeled out a fish because, you know, Judah likes fish. We threw a root bone on that bad boy because in the future, we're gonna have this guy flopping around, adding so much life to the world around him. After that, we added seams to this suck of fish so we could prep him up and throw him in to Substance Painter. After that, we slapped a completely unrealistic paint job on this bad boy because, you know, here at the channel, we like to overcomplicate things as much as possible, and I guess that's what I get for looking at Mario for reference. We then threw him in the engine and made it so whenever Judah walks over him, he'll pick him up for health. You can also tell that if he doesn't need the health, he just won't pick him up. Now, at the moment, you guys are lucky enough to see the health working, functioning correctly in its UI state, but beforehand, this wasn't the case. We just had numbers that indicated this on screen. So with that being said, let's talk about the hearts, how I created them, and why I'm using them for this system. When it comes to the hearts, I created them in Adobe Illustrator. I created three states, a full, a half, and an empty state. The reason why I'm using hearts is because hearts have been used countless of times in many other games, so it's a symbol that players recognize and can easily associate with a health system. Furthermore, if it's not broken, why fix it? And to be quite honest, at a later date, I might change this, but for purposes of showcasing the game and what I want to achieve, I feel like this is the perfect thing to do so. And just like everything else on this channel after it was finished, I threw it into Unreal. And before I did anything on code, I made a widget BP so in Designer, I could test things out visually. Then once I found something that I liked visually, I went ahead and copied over some information such as the position and size. So when I coded it out, I knew exactly what size it would be and where it would be at specifically. With all that information gathered, I uh, started working on the code. I made a my user widget that inherits from the you user widget class. This is so I have access to the designer with this BP. Um, I had the hardest time trying to reference a canvas panel. Um, and it wasn't until someone came in and said, yo, you can make it in the designer and then reference it in script by using the bind object uh, meta. And you just have to make sure that they're named the same. So yeah, that worked out great. And thank you chat for coming to my rescue. This is one of the reasons why I love streaming because you guys give me such useful information and advice. So thank you all so much for being here. But with that being said, the logic is simple. I find the affected heart. I calculate the affected hearts state. I then iterate through the array at the affected heart up so we don't have to waste time at hearts that don't need their state changed. And that's pretty much it. That's how we ended up here at the end of this week and in our state of development. So if you're interested in watching the whole entire process, please make sure to tune in Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. PST here at the channel. Next week here on the channel, I think we're gonna be working on world building. That's right, we're gonna be working on world assets. That means we're gonna be doing foliage, trees, grass, bushes all that beautiful stuff so you don't feel bored when you're staring at that gray block that Judah keeps running over, all right? So uh, yeah, if you're interested in watching that, please make sure to click the like button. You know, if you like what you see, make sure to like what you see, click the sub notification bell as well for me. I appreciate you all. 
But I got to start working on the social kit. So uh, let me just grab my tablet right here. There it is, right down there. And I'm going to go ahead and start getting to work on this. So, yeah, other than that, guys, I'll catch you next time. But until then, God bless, Jesus loves you, and happy holidays. Bye. Where am I going to put this stuff? Praise the Lord.